So we all know how to ask Google Assistant to play music or ask questions that we have, like how's the weather and stuff like that. So let's look at some of the rare features that are available. The first one, and it was recently released, is Hum to identify music. Now all you need to do is just say, what's the song, and then start humming. Here is an example. <laughs> Sounds like one of these. The second rare feature that most people don't know about is you can actually send messages through third-party applications like WhatsApp, Signal, Discord, depending on what you're using. All you need to do is just say send a message using this to this person. The third one is Assistant Shortcuts. To access Assistant Shortcuts, all you need to do is click on the profile icon then click on routines and then click on new to create a shortcut. And what it does is basically lets you do multiple commands or a single command with lesser words. So I've got a shortcut here called Wingardium Leviosa, which basically syncs the volume between my speakers. So all of them are at the same volume, but basically it lets you do anything. So you can say one word to trigger your personal playlist. Also, there are built-in ones where you can say I'm home or I'm leaving and it will execute tasks like turning off your lights or even sending a message to someone if you need to. Also, did you know you can actually trigger assistant by swiping diagonally from the corner else just hold your home button to trigger assistant. The fourth rare feature we're going to talk about is assignable reminders. Now you can assign reminders for someone else in your family without actually texting or calling them and Google will nag them as required. Now to do that all you need to do is go to your profile picture, scroll to the bottom and click on your people. You can add your friends, family, everyone that will approve this and then once approved then you can just say remind mom to send email and then it will send a reminder to all the speakers and the phone that my mom's using, for example. The fifth feature is shopping list. Now, this is underrated. To add stuff to your shopping list, all you gotta do is just say, and to access your shopping list, all you gotta do is just say, what's on my shopping list? And we'll show you. Now, did you know that you could actually search photos by context? Show my photos from my graduation, or you can say show my photos of landscapes or show my photos from this city. It's pretty handy when you need to quickly look for a photo. Google Assistant can also handle calendar events. All you need to do is just say create a calendar appointment for this time. So create a calendar appointment for haircut at 12 p.m. on Sunday. Now, did you know your wired headphones can now actually trigger Google Assistant? So you don't need to pull your phone out of your pocket. If you're on the way, you can just press and hold, talk and release to get answers. Also, did you know you can actually call local businesses and shops near you by just saying its name? So you can just say call X and it will dial it and you don't need to have it in your contacts or anything. The other feature is location-based reminders. So all you got to do is just say, remind me to call someone when I get home and the home location is already set inside the assistant settings. You can also do location reminders for public places such as uh, shopping malls or landmarks. The last but not the least is asking Google Assistant to remember things for you. So for example, remember my bike combination is 99550. And to wrap this video up, you can ask the Google Assistant to tell you something good because after last year, everyone needs a little good in their life. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe and ding the bell check out my other videos up on the screen and i'll see you guys in the next one